This really isn't a good time. Oh, Alexis, I know you're probably busy suing someone or something. I'm not, I'm not going to keep you long. I just, I wanted to give you this. A real estate agent. How subtle. Yeah. But, you know, um, she's actually, she's quite good, because I used her while, uh, while Sonny and I were separated. You're divorced, Carly. It's a legal technicality. In the end, it doesn't really count for much. Sonny and I are together now, and that's all that matters. Oh, anyway, you know what? You should give her a call, because she's really good, and then the sooner you move out, the sooner Jason can move back in, because it's, it's actually his apartment. So you might want to try, um, I don't know, someplace across town, or I don't know, maybe farther. You know where here's a good market? Wyoming these days. What's with the death stare? That's supposed to scare me. Sonny's flunky staring me down. You sold Sonny out to Roscoe. It can't happen again. Yeah, okay, so what happens next? You here to blow my head off? Stare me down? What, huh? Here to shut me up, score some points with your boss? Is that what it is, huh? Don't, don't do that again. Why not, Jason? Come on, man. Big man, what you gonna do? Huh, Sonny's enforcer? What, you got nothing to say? No witty comeback? Just don't learn, Xander. Maybe you can't. You're concerned, but it's misplaced. I like this apartment. Yeah, it certainly was convenient for staying close to Sonny. And uh, dropping by at a moment's notice, camping out in his living room. But those days are over, Alexis. I'm sure you think so. No, I know so. You see, at this point, you're just an embarrassment to Sonny. You're that one-night stand that just refuses to go away. And let's face it, he's got what he wants now, and he really doesn't have any more time to throw you any more scraps. Then why are you so threatened, Carly? I am just trying to do you a favor and point out the obvious since you somehow seem to have missed the fact that Sonny and I are back together. And then you show up, uninvited, and interrupt us in a... Well, let's just call it, um, an intimate moment. And you stand there at the door like a lovesick teenager, yammering on about something that you could have easily left on his answering machine. But I guess you can't take a hint. It's all right, though, because I guess you saw it with your own eyes. Sonny's mine. I'm sure that he would appreciate you talking about him like he's a piece of property. We all know how he loves to be treated like chattel. Let's let him decide, shall we? Oh, let's. Because uh, Sonny loves me, and I love him, and we are back together now. And you are on the outside looking in. Like you were looking in, Carly. The night you drove your car off a cliff. Did you get all the attention that you were craving? That incredibly desperate, transparent cry for sympathy. Like I've said it before. I hope you really enjoyed that one night with Sonny in his bed because you will never find your way back there again. There's no room because I am there now. Termagent. If you were anybody else, you would be dead. Sonny let you live because he's loyal. Don't ever speak to anyone again about his business. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. You better because next time you won't see me coming. What happened tonight is Sonny's business. You did it to yourself. You never say what happened. You never say how. Yeah, I get it. A bond is forged well before birth, not only between mother and child, but optimally between father and child as well. Anecdotal evidence suggests that a father's love or absence is a critical factor in child development. Are you aware of this study? I am. Then you must be aware that fatherless children are more likely to suffer from low self-esteem and feelings of inadequacy. Yes or no? 
Yes. Wouldn't you acknowledge that Sonny Corinthos is a nurturing, loving, and protective parent to his adoptive son, Michael? I certainly acknowledge that Sonny is wonderful with Michael. Then you'd have to believe that he would be a devoted parent to the child that you're caring. Devotion isn't exactly the same as... Yes or no? Yes, but... Sonny Corinthos is a career criminal. Move to strike. Irrelevant. His life and the lives of his family are in constant danger. Objection. Are you aware that Sonny's first wife and child died in a car bomb? And that an equally hideous fate could befall any child that carries the Corinthos name? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. Are you aware that Sonny could be a ruthless tyrant that mows down anything and everything that stands in his way and that his single-minded methods and his deep-seated control issues could drive him to take away my baby and raise it as his own child? Objection to the characterization of the unborn child as my baby. Clearly, there are two parents here. One who exterminates his enemies, perceived or otherwise, as casually as other people swat flies. Your Honor, let the record reflect that this witness has insisted for an entire year to her friends, to her family, to anyone who will listen that Sonny Corinthos is an honorable and a decent man. A man that she was proud to call a friend, a close friend. Uh, close enough to get her pregnant. I object. You can't object. And even if you could, it's a little late. I move to strike that from the record, Your Honor. Will you swear before the court that Sonny Corinthos is an amoral monster? Monster. I said mobster. I never said monster. Your Honor, I demand that you instruct this witness to state categorically, for the record, her final position as to whether or not she is going to tell Sonny Corinthos that he is the father of her child. Is that a yes or a no? Yes or no? Alexis Davis. I'll be right there. <laughs> Let me see. Huh? All right, abdominal and chest, altered LOC, vital signs stable. Where's he going? Draw him a and I'll draw blood. All right, let's go. <laughs> how, how is he? Oh, just calling you. How's Xander? Come on. See for yourself. We need to make a police report. No. <clears throat> oh, no police. Would it be better if I contacted Sonny? No. What happened? Do they know who did this? I know. Please wait for facts before you blame it on Sonny. Tony offered to call Sonny, but Xander refused. Draw your own conclusions. Okay, if a hurricane blew through here right now, would you automatically hold Sonny accountable for that? Xander wouldn't call the police. He wouldn't call Sonny. What does that tell you? Xander has had a mistrust for the police officers, which predated his relationship with Sonny. Just tell him that. How far in denial can you possibly hide, Alexis? I'm not hiding anything. Sandra Smith, uh, I heard he was just brought in by ambulance. Is he all right? His injuries aren't life-threatening, if that's oh, what you mean. It's trauma four. Thank you. That was quick. Yeah, you know, Xander just has a little too much company right now, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back later. If Xander messed up and he needed to learn a lesson, Sonny is more than capable of ordering a beating like that. Okay, but this is not the time that I want to bait this. Damn it, I got it, I got it, no I got deal. it. I got it. No, uh, thank you very much. Here. I got it. Okay. I want you to tell me what happened. I want to know who did it. I want to know if you can identify them in a lineup. Was there more than one? 
Did he tell you what happened? No, no, not much. Um, you know what? I'll be back. I'll be back. Excuse me. Mm. Your friend dropped this. Oh, thank you. Well, Please contact me.